The topic of my presentation is uh, recent different types of adolescent hyperkyphosis and grow results of a controlled retrospective study. As we know, adolescent hyperkyphosis, uh, both idiopathic and due to soy mind disease, is a common aesthetic defect among teenagers. And uh, also during the adulthood, it may result in an important biomechanical cause of back pain. And uh, it may involve also uh, shoulder biomechanics. In fact, we know that the subracromial weed is directly related to severity of thoracic kyphosis. It is frequently treated with a brace. Nevertheless, the results are few, and especially there are few studies about the use of TLSO. The aim of our study is to verify the efficacy of brace treatment of adolescent hyperkyphosis, idiopathic and Scheumann disease related on clinical parameters. We uh, performed a retrospective controlled study in uh, which we involved 15 patients that arrived at the end of treatment. This was a clinical study in which we considered the uh, plumb line distance because they are common use in our clinical practice. And according to our knowledge, X ray seems to be a reliable parameter to study sagittal plane. Even if, distance, uh, even if plumb line distance are not uh, reliable to evaluate harmonic and disharmonic scoliosis curve in the sagittal plane, it seems to be a practical and reliable, uh, re uh, reliable method to follow up sagittal spine deviation. So we involved 15 patients, five patients in the adiopathic hyperkyphosis group, uh, two of them are painful, and 10 patients in the Scheumann disease group, and five of them were painful. Uh, at, uh, at the first visit for a patient, uh, was a brace was prescribed, and the mean duration of treatment was uh, 2.6 years. We prescribed a Magellan brace. This is a custom-made two-bar TLSO uh, with a posterior thoracic and sacral thrust interconnected by three metal bars. Uh, anteriorly, it is a build in a hyperlord doses with the two stiff metal clavicle pushes. As outcome criteria, we consider the mere C7 and L3 plumb line distance change with disappearance of back pain. The number of patients for which there was a significant change for C7 and L3, according to previous study, where we considered clinical significant, a change of at least 10 millimeters for C7 and L3. And we also uh, considered the proper reconstruction of sagittal out, uh, outline uh, evaluating the sagittal index that explain uh, the uh, world sagittal profile of a spile and also sagittal ratio that explain the, um, the ratio between the upper and the lower part of the spine. We performed a statistic analysis with an open key square. Results. We uh, found that back pain disappeared within the first six months of, of therapy in all patients, uh, clinical achievement of a proper sagittal outline, and uh, uh, C7 and L3 changes were statistically significant in both groups, but not among groups. For the adiopathic hyperkyphosis group, we observed a significant dec uh, decrease about C7 and L3. And also about the Scheumann hyperkyphosis group, we observed a significant decrease of plumb line distance. And uh, um, particularly about C7, uh, we found that 70% of patients improved in the Scheumann disease group, while all patients improved in the idiopathic hyperkyphosis group. And about L3, we found that 60% of patients improved and 90% patients improved in the idiopathic hyperkyphosis group. Also about the sagittal index, we observed a good, uh, a significant uh, decrease of this value that, uh, that at the end of treatment, it was close to mean general population value. And also about the sagittal ratio, we obtained a, a significant decrease. So this was the first control and study about TLSO for hyperkyphosis correction. 
and uh, we observe that a surface measure can represent a reliable method to evaluate sagittal curves. But this was a retrospective study with a small, simple population. Our result led us to conclude that breeze can correct effectively adolescent hyperkyphosis, both adipitic and due to Scheumann disease, allowing a progressive reconstruction of sagittal profile. And even if results are better in the adipitic group, however, breeze shows to improve also Scheumann disease by ensuring also proper, proper vertebral body growth. Thank you. <laughs>